Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of NX Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to use the slot feature. Alright, so let's go ahead and create a new file. Go ahead and click New. I'm going to go ahead and use the millimeters as my units. I'm going to name my part, choose a destination, go ahead and click OK. Then I'm going to go ahead and create a block. I'm going to do it 10 millimeters thick, 40 by 100 millimeters long. Go ahead and click OK. Alright, next I'm going to go ahead and extrude the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this edge, make sure it's red. And then we want it to go in the x-axis, so we want to specify the vector, come up here in the dialog, and you want to highlight the x-axis, click OK, reverse the direction so we can go the other way. Alright, click, so it's going to start from 0, and then finish 50, and then I do want to offset it, two-sided, and 10 millimeters thick. All right, after that, we're gonna go ahead and unite it. So you wanna click up here, unite. You wanna select your first body and then unite it to this new body that we just created. Go ahead and click OK. All right, so we're actually gonna make a, a U-shaped uh, bracket because there's actually two ways of creating a slot. You can either do it by a uh, the slot feature here, the slot command, or you can actually sketch it out. So I, today I'm going to go ahead and show you both ways. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue on. We're going to go ahead and uh, edge blend. And I want to edge blend this edge, this edge here, and this bottom inner edge. Go ahead and click OK. Next, I'm going to go ahead and mirror, use the mirror feature. So you want to click here. You want to highlight everything that we just made. So the block, the extrude, the edge blend, and also you want to do the unite as well. And then you want to come up down here, select the plane. I'm going to use this plane to use the mirror feature. Go ahead and click OK. So now we have our U-shaped uh, bracket. So now we're going to go ahead and unite. We're going to unite our first body to this new mirror. Go ahead and click OK. Alright, before I'm going to go ahead and create a slot, I'm actually going to do the datum plane so I can use it as a reference. So we want it coming down right in the middle of this block in the z-axis. So I'm going to select this face and also select this face. And that should automatically bring it in the center of the block. All right. Go ahead and click OK. So now we have a reference line we can work with. Alright, so the first thing we talked about is the, the slot feature that we can use, which is up here, slot. Or you can actually find it. If, if you can't see it down here, you can actually type in slot in the search bar. And it will tell you exactly where it's at, just by hovering it over. So we're going to go ahead and close out. Select slot. You, we want a rectangular. Go ahead and click OK. Next, you want to choose a face. I'm going to work off of this face. And then horizontal reference. So we want it to be horizontal off of this face. So that way it's going up and down on the z-axis. Alright, so for the length, we're going to do a 40 millimeter long. 
10 millimeter wide and then the the depth that should be the thickness of your part going through so 10 millimeters thick and go ahead and click OK alright so now I want to align it right in the center so you want to come up here perpendicular alright so I want to select this with this line and I'm actually going to put it zero so that way it's aligned right on the middle go ahead and click OK and then next I want to align it on the z-axis so same thing perpendicular I want it 60 millimeters from this edge so highlight the bottom edge and highlight the center line and then put it at 60 go ahead and click OK and then when you're finished go ahead and click OK and that should take you there exit out so there's that slot alright the other way is you can actually sketch it out we'll sketch out the outer slot and then extrude it and subtract it from the block so let's go ahead and do that but before we do that we want to make sure the auto dimensioning is off so you want to come and file preference your sketch so the constraints are off they're checked off and the auto dimensioning are off so that's good click OK now you want to come back and sketch alright we'll select this plane we're gonna work off of this plane right here so select it click OK alright so the first thing we're gonna do is create a circle and create another circle here close out and we're gonna give it a dimension so we want the slot to be the same as this slot back here so it's a 10 millimeter radius so we'll go ahead and select this radius make it 10 millimeters close out and then you want to highlight the circle here and the bottom circle and we want to give it a constraint as equal radius next we want it to be vertically aligned so I'll highlight the center point of both circles and I want a vertical alignment alright next I want this point to the dynamo plane right on in the center next we'll go ahead and give it another dimension we'll, we'll do how far apart from the center points this should be 30 millimeters so put 30 that should be good alright and then the next dimension will choose the center line alright so this one should be 60 minus 15 which is 45 close out so now we're fully constrained alright next we'll go ahead and create a couple lines come up here line select the line make another line alright so we want this line to be tangent on the circle that should be tangent and we'll go ahead and connect the endpoint of this line and make a point on curve same thing on the bottom we'll select the line highlight your circle you want to make it tangent and then next you want to select the endpoint to the circle and you want to write on point on curve 
we'll go ahead and do the same thing on this line highlight it you want to make a tangent point on curve alright so highlight the point highlight your circle you want a tangent to this bottom circle as well point on curve Alright, before we close out, we'll go ahead and trim out the inner arcs. So we'll trim this, trim this, close out. Now we have to reconnect the dots. Alright, same thing on the bottom. Alright, so you want to select the endpoint. You want to connect them. So we got one more constraint, and which is right here. We'll select this. Select this. Make sure it's right point on curve coincident. Alright, so now our sketch is fully constrained. We'll go ahead and click finish. Alright, next you want to extrude the sketch we just created. So you want to highlight it. And you want to make sure it's going through the part. And go ahead and click OK. Next you want to subtract come up here subtract you always select your main body and then subtract it from this new body that we just created click OK and there you have it alright so let's go ahead and double check our measurements and see make sure we're on the same page so we'll come up here measure select points so this is the sketch we just created so we'll select the center point here so the center point that gives us 30 millimeters all right we'll go ahead and check the other slot select this this same thing 30 millimeters next I want to check from the the distance from this point to the bottom so I'll select an object and select this object here which is 45 I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the other side just to make sure we're on the same alignment it out select an object the bottom line and then to this point there it is 45 all right so we can close out all right next I want to hide everything to make a clear view of the uh, object so you want to come up here in the view you want to move to layers I'm going to go ahead and select the object and then inverse selection that way it's going to select everything but the object so we got seven objects all around go ahead and click OK I'll change it to a different layer so I named it 5 click OK next you want to come up in the layer settings you want to turn off and hide layer 5 that way we're only seeing the part so go ahead and close out and like all, like always, I uh, like to change the color. Select an object. I'm gonna go ahead and Control J. Select my object. Click OK. Change the color. It's my preference right here. Click OK. OK. All right. There it is.
Alright guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Till next time.